When Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather hugged each other, I mean, fought each other, a lot of people complained about how the fight was boring. They said that Floyd Mayweather didn't engage enough and Manny Pacquiao didn't brawl as expected. When we look at the fight, however, we can see what really happened. In the Queensberry rules of boxing, the number two rule is no wrestling or hugging allowed. And if there is wrestling and hugging, point deductions should be administered by the referee. People talk about work-life balance often, but it may not even exist. The balance has to be within you. Balance is moving forward. Why was the Pacquiao-Mayweather fight so boring? Why did Mayweather have to hug Manny Pacquiao so much? That's what we analyze and talk about next. And we're live. Awesome. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Vince Revolution here inspiring you to be the best that you can be. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fought a much-anticipated bout on May 2, 2015. To this day, it's a fight a lot of people still talk about, not for its excitement, but for its lack of excitement. There were few exchanges, and times when Mayweather did exchange with Manny Pacquiao, it was short-lived. A lot of people said that it's because that's Mayweather's style. But it wasn't just style that caused Floyd Mayweather to hug Manny Pacquiao. It was Floyd Mayweather's inability to exchange with Manny Pacquiao. And it was his inability to deal with Manny Pacquiao's speed and volume of punches. Yes, you can slip and slide and weave and bob out of shots, but it's actually illegal to continue on hugging consistently round after round. The reason why they made this rule is because it made fights boring, it made fights slow down, and it caused boxers to use it as a default defense. Floyd Mayweather continued to tie up Manny Pacquiao's arms, which is considered hugging. What it did was slow down Pacquiao's momentum and stop his offense altogether. And as it slowed down the fight, the perception of it was it was slow and lacked action. Anytime Manny Pacquiao got rolling, Floyd Mayweather would attempt to hug. If the referee had administered point deductions early on when Floyd Mayweather was doing this, he would have stopped hugging early on and the fight would have been more exciting with more action and more actual boxing. You can see in several of the exchanges that Floyd Mayweather was clearly not able to handle Pacquiao's speed. Despite repeated failed drug tests and not allowing Pacquiao to get a painkiller shot for his injured shoulder, Mayweather continued to hug. Pacquiao said later in an interview that he thought Mayweather was hugging him so much because he was in love with him. Unfortunately for boxing, it was a mega fight that disappointed many casual fans. It could have been and would have been used as a fight to generate more buzz and excitement for the sport of boxing, as UFC was quickly on the rise. However, it did the exact opposite. Boxers often hug as a last resort, but making it your first wall of defense kept the entire fight out of the balance of boxing. In life, find balance, friends. The only place where success comes before work is the dictionary. These are my thoughts on that, but don't follow the herd. Follow your heart. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, life is about balance. Be kind. Don't let people abuse you. Trust, but don't be deceived. Be content, but never stop improving yourself. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Be positive and stay positive, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.